Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a quick and easy summer makeup look. In the summer, I kind of just want to throw my makeup on and go outside. I don't really want to do a lot of fuss. I want products that are easy to apply and kind of effortless. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you guys are excited, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. I think we all know by now how important it is to wear sunscreen every day. However, it's currently five o'clock right now and I'm getting ready to go to work. I work inside, not near any windows, nothing. So I'm not gonna be applying any sunscreen, but if I were, here are some of the options that I would choose. If you're looking for a matte sunscreen, I would highly recommend the Australian Gold Botanical Tinted Face Sunscreen. It has a tint, but it's basically just to not give you a white cast. So it's not enough that's gonna give you any coverage or anything, but uh, they do have a few different shades of this one. And this is actually a repurchase for me. I absolutely love this one. And I do have dry skin, so yeah. Then there's also the Sunday Riley Lighthearted Broad Spectrum SPF 30. At first, this one kind of goes on and makes your face look a little bit blue. Like, if you want to look a little bit violet. But it does calm down and it kind of blends in with your skin. And it gives you a nice velvety texture. So I wouldn't say this one is too glowy, but it, it has a little bit of a satin kind of look to the skin once it sets down. If you're looking for that summery glow on your skin, and I'm not talking about like a hydrated glow, I'm talking about an actual like glow, I would recommend the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield. I believe they have this one in like two or three shades. So again, this one does have a tint to it. And all of these ones that I'm talking about are mineral sunscreen, I believe. I believe they're totally mineral sunscreens. But yeah, all, all of these ones are good for acne prone skin. My skin breaks out very easily. And so that's why I do use a mineral sunscreen versus a chemical sunscreen. So again, I'm not gonna be applying a sunscreen today, but you should definitely wear your sunscreen. I am gonna be going in with a dewy foundation. And sometimes with dewy foundations, it tends to like exaggerate my pores. So I do like to go in with a pore filling primer. I love the NYX Angel Veil Pore, is it? Skin Perfecting Primer. I've said it before, but I really like this one once it dries out a little bit. It kind of gives it a thicker texture, which I feel like fills in the pores a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And I'm just gonna be applying this where I have larger pores, which is gonna be right here. Also, this one does have like a matte finish. So if you have oily skin, I think this would be a great option. I don't know if you can tell, but my pores are pretty good and filled in. For foundation, I'm going to be going in with the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. Mine is in the shade Ivory 10. I really love this foundation. It's got a nice thin consistency, which I think you would expect from like a serum foundation. But here's kind of the consistency of it. It has really great coverage, but it's not, it's like a medium coverage, but I think you can build it up pretty well. I am going to be going in with the brush today. This is the Haley's Beauty Kabuki brush, foundation brush. I really love this one because it's pretty dense, so it gives you a little bit more coverage and it also doesn't really leave any streaks on your face. And if you're using a brush and you want a little bit more coverage, definitely use a patting motion like this rather than like a swiping motion. So there is a nice thin layer just on this side of my face. Here's the side without foundation. As you can see, it just kind of gives just a perfected look to the skin, but it's not overly done, you know? which I feel like in summer we can get away with less coverage. For concealer, I'm gonna be going in with the Haley's Beauty Rewind Blurring Full Coverage Concealer. This one had some really cool claims to it. Matte, long-lasting, science-led, fragrance-free, cruelty-free, and there was something about like a diamond powder in it to give you like that really blurred but brightening effect. And you guys know I love a matte concealer because I don't like to set my concealer with powder. I did actually just find the box. Let me see. This is supposed to be budge free long wear without flaking or creasing. Diamond powder scatters green blue light to instantly banish dark circles, fine lines and imperfections. That sounds fancy. And I don't know if I said this, but I think this is like a like a cream to powder, like it ends up with like a powder finish to it. Oh, let's give it a try. So this has a metal tip applicator, which is really nice because you're gonna get that cooling feeling on the skin. I also really love how sanitary it is because if you think about it, you know, with other ones, you're dipping it on your face, dipping it back in. So I love how sanitary this one is. I do feel like I might have a little bit of trouble controlling it and I feel like I've had to push really hard. 
So it's just a little bit harder to control how much is coming out. But I'm just gonna apply, I'm just gonna apply a little bit like that. And I'm just gonna place it. Ooh, that feels nice and cooling. And I'm not applying any more. I'm just like spreading it with this so I can kind of get that cooling feeling. Yeah. Might need a little bit more. I do have a couple little blemishes I want to fix, but I feel like this one's a little bit light, so I don't want to like exaggerate those. So I'm just going to wait a second. And I'm going to blend that out with this little brush. I feel like this one starts to dry down pretty quickly, which is nice. You don't need to let it like sit there and set. I definitely feel like I look bright. I'm gonna tap that out. I do feel like I could go a little bit darker with the shade. They actually sent this one to me in PR, so I didn't choose my shade. Um, I probably would have chose this shade anyways, but this one is fair neutral. And I, I love that it's actually neutral. Like it doesn't lean any pink or peachy or anything. So I think they did a really good job with that. But I think I could go up one more shade, but it's still like, it's not a bad match at all. Um, I feel like I do still have some darkness peeking through here. Sometimes I tend to feel like that when my concealer is a little bit lighter, but, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with just a little bit more. I don't want to like overdo it and make it cakey, but I just want a little bit more right there. I am going to go ahead and apply the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade Fawn to some of the spots on my face just to give me a little bit more coverage. Nothing crazy. I mean, it doesn't need to be perfected. Just doing a light layer. And I am going to let that just sit on the spots for a little bit while I go in with my brows. This is the Flower Beauty Brow Gel or Brow Cream in the shade Light Brown. I've been just loving this for quick, easy brows. I kind of just start right here in the center and go down and up just to make sure I'm fully coating my brows. It does have like those little fibers in there to give you that fluffy brow. I do have the shade Blonde in this, but I feel like it's pretty warm and it's pretty light. So I do like that one when I'm trying to lighten like a concealer if it's looking a little bit dark. But for the regular, I do go in with the light brown. This one kind of goes on a little bit watery and as it kind of sets down, it turns into like a cream a little bit more. So I'm kind of just letting it dry a little bit and then I'm gonna go into the spoolie and shape my brows. Going with a little bit more of a fluffy brow for summer, but that does definitely kind of set down a little bit more once it dries down. Now to blend out the concealer, I'm gonna use my brush and just lightly pouncing it. I am gonna do a quick contour with the Alma Beauty Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Stick. Mine is in the shade White Pearl. And I'm just gonna do a quick little shaping. Now I'm just going to go in with my foundation brush to make sure everything is blended in well. As some of you guys know, I love the Tower 28 Beach Please Balms. I've been using these all summer. These are my favorite cream blush because they're just so easy to blend and they're not like slippy. They're not going to move around throughout the day and they have a lot of pigment. They're just amazing. I've been really loving the shade Power Hour for the summer just because it gives a lot of warmth to the face. I do think it's also going to be really great in fall too. It's just a very wearable color. Even though it looks kind of intimidating, it's very wearable. But I did actually receive this little sample one and I've been wanting to try Golden Hour, which is that orangey tone. I just feel like orangey tones go good in the summer. I am just going in and kind of melting it on my finger like this and just going to apply it. On my cheeks. I always go a little bit on my chin and a little bit on my nose. Just so I have balance on my face. 
I've been kind of intimidated to grab this shade just because I don't know how oranges look on my fair skin, but we're giving it a try. That's what's nice about samples is you can kind of test it out and see what you think. I feel like that looks pretty peachy and warm. Like it almost does look like a sunburn in a way, like a really fresh sunburn. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> it's cute. I do feel like I do want a little bit more depth in the back. I know this is supposed to be an easy summer look, but I still just, you know, want to do a, a little bit. So I'm going to just go towards the back here. This is going to give a little bit dimension too. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Pony FX Hyper Protection Setting Spray. This one is supposed to make your makeup last a bit longer. I really love the aerosol to it. Sometimes that one dries down and looks a little bit glowy at first, but then it really like settles down and looks like natural on the skin. Now that everything is melted in, I am going to go in with that powder brush. I didn't apply anything extra and I'm just making sure I don't have any shine right here. For summer, I really love a one and done eyeshadow. It can be like a yellow or orange, or it can be like a taupe. So today I'm gonna to be going in with like a champagne taupe. And this is the Kaja Moon Crystal in the shade Luminary. I feel like I'm kind of conflicted with this product because I love how it looks right when it goes on and it dries down, but I feel like it almost crackles throughout the day. But I'm also curious if my, because my eyelids have been a little bit dry lately. So it could totally be my eyelids. So I'm still trying to figure it out. But this one just has like a beautiful glow to the lid. Packs a nice punch. I've also found out like not to layer this, just kind of go in with what you're gonna go with. Cause I'm also curious if that's been leading to my crackling. I've worn this two or three times now, but it's just such an easy summer look and it just gives you that glowy bronzed look. And I'm just taking my finger and kind of blending out the edges there just to give it a nice fade into the brow bone. How quick and easy that was. See, it's already dry now. But I feel like it looks a little bit textured. I don't know, are my eyelids just dry? I feel like if you have really dry eyelids, you're not gonna like this. If you have oily eyelids, I think you would really like this. So I think that's kind of where I'm at with it. I still really like it though. It's very pretty, it's really reflective. I love the tone. It just looks really, really pretty. I do want a little bit of definition out the lower lash line. So I am gonna go in with just a brown. I'm gonna be using the Mary Jane Melt Palette, but really any brown will do. It's just to give some definition to the under eye. I'm gonna go in with the shade of Rubia. For mascara, I'm gonna go in with the Flower Beauty Warrior Princess Mascara. This one just gives me the most fluffy, pretty lashes. I love this one. I never get any flaking or smudging with it, which is a big deal for me because I don't set my under eyes. So I definitely have to find something that can stay put. I love these lashes. I just feel like they look fluffy, but they look separated. They look kind of like wispy. I absolutely love this mascara. Flower Beauty knows mascara. They do a, such a great job. For lips, I'm trying a new lip product. I don't know which one I want to use yet, but Cloven Hollow reached out to me and let me choose a few items that I wanted to. So thank you so much to Cloven Hollow for that. This one is the Velvet Lip in Fiesta. And this one is their Lip Cream in Flaming Coral. So I might try both of these on and see which one I like. They're kind of the same shade. This. Okay, that one has a little bit of like pink to it, which could be really pretty. So those are the two shades right there. I think I'm gonna try the lip cream first. I'm just gonna go in with this one. This is the ColourPop Barbie collection in the shade Golden Beach. So I'm just gonna, this one's already dull. I just want a little bit of a definition here. Okay, just to give a little definition. So I'm gonna go in with the lip cream. feels very waxy. I almost feel like I broke it inside too. I 
Okay, I did a crap job applying that. This formula feels really waxy. It's kind of hard to get on the lips, but I feel like that also makes it feel like it's really stuck to my lips and it's not going to be slipping around. So pros and cons of that. That shade's fun though, right? It's got a little bit of pink to it. I thought it was going to be a little bit more orange, but I, I definitely see like a vibrant coral, I guess. Yeah, it's called flaming coral. Well, I guess that works. I don't know why I thought it was going to be a little bit more orangey, but I really like that. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm going to remove this real quick and then we'll get the other one on. Now I'm going to be going in with the Lip Velvet from Clove and Hollow in the shade Fiesta. I'm hoping this is going to be a little bit more orangey. Definitely looking more orangey right off the bat. So here's that lip color. It's very opaque, nice and even on the lips. It does kind of feel a little bit like part of it's tacky still and then part of it has dried down to like a powder matte feeling. I don't love a powder matte feeling, but I think it's really beautiful. I don't know how long it's going to last. Obviously, this is the first time I'm wearing it, but it's very beautiful. I, I was kind of wanting a little bit more orange, but I think it works and it's a beautiful summer shade. Orangey red lips are some of my favorite tones in summer. I feel like I need a little bit more blush now, so I'm going to go ahead and apply just a little bit more of that orange golden hour shade. And the great thing about these ones is they can go over powder, so I am not afraid to put it over that powder. I feel like I got a little bit carried away and that this didn't turn out as as the simplest version that I thought it was going to be. I kind of did a little bit more, so sorry about that. But you know what? This is still a beautiful summer look, nice and bright lip, easy eye. And I mean, honestly, this wouldn't take me that long to do normally. I think just talking through it. And also I was trying a few new products, so that's my fault. But I do still think this is a really easy summer look. I can do another version if you like of my actual like five minute summer look. Let me know if you want to see that. But here is the look I came up with. I really love it. I love the combo of this eye color with this lip. Beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not already. Follow me on IG. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm so crazy about you. I'm so crazy about you.